that horizon line is so important. And I just remember when I would sail when I was a kid, if I didn't feel well, my dad would say, just look at the horizon. And of course, being a really visual kid, I'd be like, but I can see the swells. That was always the calm, the line. But it's also the line between the air and the sea and the rest of the world that's out there. My name is MJ Benson, and it's short for Mary Jane, because everyone always asks. And we're in my home studio in South Portland, Maine, and I'm a painter. I'm an artist. I, I was always good at art, and then when I was in high school, my sister gave me her old camera, and I started taking tons and tons of photographs to the point where I would get all A's in photography and art and also in writing because I really like that because I was obsessed and I knew what I wanted to do when I wanted to be. My sister is a painter and I always thought, oh, she's the painter and I'm the photographer. So I thought, well, I can be a painter too. It, the medium just clicked for me. I figured out how to use it in such a way that it just really became so much more than photography could be for me. I really learned to use the materials of paint to express my vision of the landscape and, and how we live in it. And um, the rest is history. <laughs> so I paint and then I step back and I look at the painting and it becomes a conversation and it becomes something that's about what the painting is telling me and I just kind of go back and forth until it's settled. When I look at a painting and I'm really frustrated with it, I'll make a gesture that is just completely out there. So I'll just pick up whatever paint is there and just make a mark and see what happens from there. It's a real dance between frustration and then kind of calming that frustration down and making something that I like to look at that I think is beautiful out of something that that might not be so great. But a lot of the, what's in there is, is sort of a wrestling with different emotions, different experiences with the painting and, and where it's coming from and trying to calm it and settle it and just make it like, yes, this is like how it should be. I've always, in my whole life, I've had to make things. With photographs, if I'm not Making photographs, I'm knitting, I was, you know, creating things, making stuff, cooking. And I just always feel driven to do it. So even if I'm exhausted, I still have to paint. It's an essential part of my being. The main landscape has always been beautiful and really inspiring. It's also very calming to be down on a beach when it's quiet and beautiful and early in the morning. The horizon has just always been an enigmatic metaphor for so many things and I just, that's where I begin and usually end my paintings. <laughs>